So put a lid on it, you're going to need two vessels. Vessel A and vessel B. Now, they should be the same size, the same shape, the same material. These would work. Don't have any glass jars, that's okay. These cups will work. Same size, same shape, same material. That's the key. I'm going to go ahead and use these two cups because that's probably more similar to what you have at home. Vessel A, we are going to call our control. And vessel B, we are going to put a lid on it. Thus the name of the lab, put a lid on it. So I'm gonna use a piece of aluminum foil and th uh, that will serve as my lid. Okay, a very simple piece of aluminum foil is going to be my lid. So again, we have the control with no lid and our experimental vessel with the lid. Now, it doesn't have to be foil. Maybe you, you have two identical containers and they have this kind of lid. So one would have the lid on and then your vessel A would be lid off. What are we gonna put in these containers? You are going to put warm to hot water in both of these containers. You should try to have equal amounts of the water and it should start at the same temperature. So how do you do that? Find a microwave safe container like a large measuring cup and fill it full with water Microwave for 90 seconds and then stir the water afterwards. If you have a thermometer, measure the initial temperature of the water. If you don't have a thermometer, use this guide. Your finger can serve as a thermometer. You probably don't have a glass beaker at your house, but you probably have a glass measuring cup or a micro microwave safe measuring cup. There's 400 milliliters of water in my glass beaker. I set it in the microwave for 90 seconds. I'm giving it a nice stir with the spoon to make sure I evenly distribute the heat. I happen to have a thermometer. So I was able to check the temperature in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. Again, just pick which one you, you more, are, feel more comfortable with. So it turned out to be about 136 degrees Fahrenheit. And it turned, and then when I changed it to Celsius, it was 56 degrees Celsius. Don't have a thermometer, that's okay, use your finger. When I put it in the water, it was almost too dangerous to touch. It was very warm. So again, uh, 136 degrees was what the thermometer said. I would put it down uh, as an estimate of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now you need to evenly distribute the water, the same amount of water into vessel A and B. And that's tricky. How are you gonna do that? You could maybe mark the outside or the inside of the vessels if you have a piece of tape or a Sharpie, if it's a paper cup. If you don't have that, maybe you have a device that you could use to pour the same amount into each cup um, or each vessel. And maybe you're lucky enough to have two containers that actually have markings on the sides that will allow you just to visualize when there's an even amount. I'm going to go get another beaker so that I can distribute the same amounts to both cups. So I am going to distribute equal amounts into this cup that has markings. So into A, my control, and B, and now put the lid on it record the initial temperature, and then come back in 20 minutes to see the temperature of the control versus the vessel with the lid on it. 20 minutes, 40 minutes, let's see how those vary. 